What is going on, mother foxers? All right, man, we're gonna get this truck buttoned up here. I know, three-part video. You gotta take breaks. And I had unexpected things happen, which took longer, so. Anyway, now you get to witness the installing of the stretchy belt with the infamous zip tie. <laughs> Come along, will ya? tell you what this was what was hard about this was getting it behind this and I don't think you're supposed to have this on when you're doing this because there's a little bit of space <laughs> let's see what happens huh here we go see if this will work for me ah, stupid thing there we go Flippies of this thing. Sorry, I keep smacking you. You're kind of right in the top of my way. <laughs> Come on, you bastard. Track on there, there it goes. So by the time we get to the bottom, it, it should be on there. there there she goes <laughs> look how that stupid thing works I think we're on the ribs right turn it just a little bit more all right oh, get the pair of dikes all right I think we got one stretchy belt Install. Let me just crank this a little bit more here. Make sure they're all good. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Looks like the stretchy belt is in place. Alright guys. There it is. It's made in Vietnam. <laughs> so I had an O-ring problem in my thermostat. Um, I don't know, I, this, this, the truck has been losing antifreeze, but I did find this, see that, in the O-ring that was in the thermostat housing, so I went and bought a new one, made in Vietnam, <laughs> not China, so there's that, which goes into here, and we got another, hope the wind doesn't bother you too much, but, uh, got the fan on, but. Yeah, we got a th new thermostat for this, so we'll be all good. And then for this to go, this goes on to that pipe right there. And then this has its own little ribbed gasket that we, or O-ring that we put in there. We took this one out. So, there's that. So hopefully that was a leak, was that thing uh, that was ripped there, so. Oh, look. All right. <laughs> we'll see how far we got. Look at that. All the hoses are where all the hoses should be. And uh, putting this turbo uh, on that turbo over there is a bitch. This one's easy. So, just so you know that. Besides, uh, there's these little brackets here we forgot about that hold these uh, tubes and that one over there. That one's easier than this side <laughs> to get in there. Bolts onto the alternator so we had to reach down in there and get that which is right down inside there. Had to put it on that stud and then tighten it down. So, And the only thing we have left is this guy here which 
goes on just like that it goes on here and then we still got to get down here and get the the main uh, intercooler pipe to the intake we got to get that down uh, hooked up there and then we got to get the what is it the hot side here hooked up to the exchanger too um, but we got to push the truck out to get up in there because we can't get in there because we shoved it forward to shut the garage door so we got to push it back so we can reach up underneath there and get that so that's it that's all that's left everything's plugged in all the plugs are plugged in and everything so uh i'm done for the day man i gotta go wash a layer off me <laughs> it's dirty down there by the freaking turbos man so makes me feel good about those <laughs> so uh, we'll we'll catch up with you tomorrow look at this the battery's connected everything's hooked up we just changed the oil and we just well that's the beauty the beauty cover bracket <laughs> but uh just changed the oil and overflowed the water <laughs> put antifreeze and 50 50 it's just shit we had left in water and uh we pulled the fuse for the fuel pump hopefully that's the right one that's the one he said and then we're gonna go ahead and just turn it on a couple or turn it over well he's turned without it on. starting it yeah just turn it on no you gotta, it. You, gotta, you, gotta yeah, you gotta crank it so we can get the oil running through there so we'll see he how this goes all three times before he cranked it well i think he did that to prime yeah. the fuel yeah. pump yep so we're gonna have to look for make sure that thing ain't leaking and starts pissing gas and <laughs> it shouldn't i mean we did everything we we're supposed to but you never know man so it's good i'll turn it i don't really hear anything I think I hear. huh i think i heard it well it's not supposed to be on pump yeah oh maybe that was just a clicking all right there. let me let's check into the fuel pump number coming up on there right yeah, check engine it. lights on. Of course, it's going to well, be on. Well, it's going to be on. Yeah. So here we go. We're going to turn it over. It's turning good, so that's a good pump. Now I don't see the oil pressure coming up. It started to move. Did it? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to put the battery charger on. All right. We're putting the battery charger on it. It started, it sounded like it was getting a little weak there. Um, the way these things work, man, all I got to do is you, you don't have, in these vehicles, at least my 2013, when you go to turn the ignition on, it just takes off until it starts. You don't even have to sit there and keep cranking it with the key on. It just, you turn it and it starts cranking on its own um so and it was doing that for a while and the battery's just been sitting here for three weeks so we're putting a charger on it i could see i see it was getting weak so we'll get that on there let it on there for a few minutes we'll come back out and try he said the it was moving but i was i didn't see it because i was looking at the display because it was saying something weird about hill descent or something like that so all right took a few times and it just popped boom got pressure so but battery wore down again <laughs> even with the charger on it so but the good news is it sounds normal when it turns over and that's a good thing <laughs> so we put the fuse back in we'll wait here for a few minutes for that uh, thing to go I'll have to cycle it a couple of times we'll have to see if there's any leaks and then we'll give her a go all right guys we primed it with the fuel here we go Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna we're we'll we'll hold our excitement for a while, but that's it's running. It's friggin' running. Now oh, it just idled down. Now 
we got to go get our Zurich uh, scanner and clear that and see if we're good. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, God. This is the other part I don't like. <laughs> we'll be back. All right. There's the sound of it. That oil, that smoke you're seeing is... The turbo's got had a lot of oil on the, the whole, uh, tubes. And we're down there trying to get everything on, flinging oil and stuff over there. They're just burning it off. So, but it sounded normal. All right, that was short-lived. <laughs> Looks like an oil cooler line, guys. This has got a clamp here with a quick release. Where the quick release is at over here is when it's leaking. So we're gonna try to find this part. We're gonna try to finagle it in there and get it hooked up. All right, folks, we were short-lived here. As you can see, that is the trans coolant line. Uh, the other one, it, it, it sprung a leak, man. It sprung a leak on us. Can't really... It's done for. Let's just put it that way. We can't disconnect it from the quick connect that's right under here. I mean, I can't really show you, man. It's just, it's, it's in there. It's, we can't really disconnect it. So that means we've got to replace all the trans coolant lines, man. This, the truck is running. We're going to take it off the dollies and then take it for a spin. But as you can see, the intercooler is out of it. Our air dam is out of it. So, and I'm screwed right now because i got to order this stuff. And i got to wait yet another freaking week for it. We were done. We were done. And the trans coolant lines blew. So, and like I said, we're gonna have to replace all of them because there's no way of getting those off the quick connects. And then the, the things that were on it, the little plastic things, those broke. I don't know where to fuck get it. I don't know where to get them. I mean, I had a, I had a rough time just trying to find the trans coolant lines for back there and up here. I found these these ones up here up front at Rock Auto, pretty cheap, Dormans, and then OEM Fords from Ford, OEM parts, whatever, for like $111. I'm gonna go order this shit. So, yeah, it runs. It was running fine. We were gonna take it for a spin. Now I'm fucked for another week. So, thanks for watching. Later. All right, guys, if you stuck around, bonus footage. So, the thumbnail to this video. Want to take a closer look to it? Let me pop it up on the screen here. All the porcelain look good, but look at those electrodes. <laughs> now, I did tow with this truck, not a ton, but I remember a. Uh, 14 hour trip down and back to Charlotte, North Carolina. 90,000 miles on those plugs. And the truck still ran pretty good. So now it's going to run better. <laughs>